Hello everyone, welcome to my latest Photoshop tutorial on Symmetry. Uh, this is the final image that I have created for this tutorial. I'm going to be taking you through step by step and seeing how we get from this to this, possibly with some slight variations in the direction of the transformation. Uh, just as a little forward, I was inspired uh, for this video by uh, the Persian rugs that David Thomas Smith makes. He actually takes images from Google Earth, so it gets images from above, um, and then digitally kind of like flips and transforms these images and gets them printed onto uh, actual rugs. He um, is quite similar to a guy called Michael Shamblum, who also is a digital artist, um, sticking pretty much exclusively to photography. Uh, however, he actually does something quite interesting with this. Not only does he flip his images, he actually does a time lapse of them as well. Um, so he does, it apparently takes him quite a long time, several months in the different cities that he goes to. Um, and he is able to actually, you know, take thousands and thousands of photographs, import them all into Adobe Premiere and kind of flip them in this manner. Uh, it's extremely abstract and pretty eye catching, I think. So without further ado, let's get started. So similar to David Thomas Smith, I thought I'd take an image from above. This is an image just from like a, from like a place in the Lake District that we visited maybe about a year or two ago. But we quite like this photograph because um, it looks as though you're kind of like looking at a tree, but it's actually in the, in the reflection of a puddle. Um, I've also flipped it to one side as well. You can actually just flip your images by going to image rotation and changing what it was. I think it was originally, um, wrong one. I think I'm pretty sure it was originally like this. Okay, so we're just going to go back there. Image rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. Right. So what we need to do is we need to select all, or we can use the rectangular marquee, or we can hold down Control and A, and we can grab all of our image. If we Control C or go to Edit Copy, and we then go to um, File and New. This is actually, uh, because we copied it, this has actually remembered the exact pixel size of this entire canvas that we've just been working with here. Now, because we are essentially reflecting this image several times, we're gonna need to, in this instance, uh, create a canvas size that is uh, double the width and double the height. So in this instance, it's gonna be 10,072 pixels, and that is gonna be um, 5,900 and 76 pixels. That was a pretty difficult one to work out the second one, I must admit. So if we hit OK, here we are. And now that I've copied it, I'm actually going to go to Edit Paste. And as you can see, the canvas is much bigger than the previous one. In fact, it is quite literally double the height and width, as expected. We're going to use the Move tool to drag this to the corner. We're going to continue to press Control V or go to Edit Paste. And we're just going to make sure that these fit in all the different corners here. They're just gonna snap into place, hopefully. There we go. And it fits pretty good. We've got a margin of error when we zoom out, but actually when we zoom in, it, it seems absolutely fine. It's just when we kind of zoom right out. So what we have to do now is, now we've got these uh, images on different layers, we're gonna to have to choose one of the images to flip the rest over. Um, for this one, I'm pretty sure I flipped all the images over the top left one. And for this one, I'm pretty sure I flipped all the images over the top right one. If you're not sure what I mean, you're about to see now. So I'm going to flip them over the bottom right one. Why not? Let's do that. So I'm going to start with my top left uh, section. I'm going to ensure the show transform controls are enabled for all of this. And I'm literally going to take my image and flip it over the one that I want. Okay. So there we go. You need to hit enter when you're happy and then you need to select your next layer. And continue to just choose the appropriate corner or box on the side to sort of click and drag with. And last but not least, layer three, which is the bottom left-hand one there, okay? Again, we just need to check if we zoom right in that this is all right. I'm pretty sure it is. If there is a margin for area, it's possible to nudge the pixels in this place. No, this seems fine. Okay. If you did want, you can move your um, kind of like individual elements up and down um, just by using the keyboard um, arrows to, to just nudge them on the separate layers. 
When this is finally complete, you just have to right click and go to flatten image. It's very important. And as you can see, like all the, the different things have gone. Okay, and it's, it's now just one plain, uh, clear symmetrical image. I'm gonna make sure this is done on my other images as well. In fact, it is done there, that's great. Okay, um, as a little forward, you can actually reflect things again if you think about it. You're going to need like a computer with a decent amount of RAM um, or and certainly some disk space on it as well, particularly if you're working with images from a DSLR camera. So again, now it's flattened. All we have to do is Control A, Control C, Control N for new. And we're just going to double these numbers. So that is 20,112. And this one is 11,920, I'm pretty sure. I'm just, it could be wrong, but let's see. And as you can see, we can paste in what we've just done. And we can create kind of like further abstract pattern work there. Okay. It's not essential that you do this, but some people like to kind of like, you know, go even more on a tangent as you can see this looks a little bit more kind of um, pattern like and you know might be more appropriate for like um, for like a, a piece of textiles art or like an, a fashion accessory or something like that but me personally I think that my most successful one was this I'm gonna have this as the uh, the thumbnail for my for my video and I might do some further work with this in the next um, video on vortexes okay thanks very much for watching cheers if you um, if you if you have any obviously comments or feedback, just just let me know below. Thank you. Bye.